What's good, everybody? Lockout men, what's going on, man? How y'all feel? How y'all feel out there? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, I'm over here chilling. I'm up here in Wisconsin, getting ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah, that sounds good. Sat here at the at the quick trip. Let me put you guys down right quick so you guys can see and chill with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, Ugh. got finished uploading the video. Yeah, there we go. How's that? That's better. That's better. That should be better. Yes, sir. That is better and clear that you guys can see me, too. All right. Check it out, man. I was uh, finishing up my uh, finishing up my morning, getting ready to start my day. All right. So check it out. I'm here up in Wisconsin, about to head to Minnesota to pick up my load which is not ready until 3.30. If I leave now, I should get there by 2.30. So a whole hour, but it says it's a live load, but usually at this receipt or this shipper that I normally go, go to, they are preloaded. I figure by driving nights now, I, I, I usually effectively manage my clock better does that make any sense that, that don't make no sense at all to me but since i've been driving nights i'm so used to maximizing and managing my clock better but if you decide to drive nights man listen just just make sure you get you enough rest you know there's a lot of guys out here that do drive nights but they don't have the rest all right check it out today's topic um I found in his Facebook post, my man, Jeremy, he posted, it's not much of a question, it's more of a statement with a, with a question at the end. He's feeling kind of angry, you know what I'm saying? But check it out, this, this, is, this is what the posts say. Maybe it's me, maybe I don't have enough experience. I got into this shit to make money and keep a roof over my kid's head. Every freaking company, that's a word, I've been, or wait, every freaking company I have been with is trash. They could give two Fs about the drivers. I've been sitting in South Carolina with no freaking loadout. Send me somewhere where the freaking loads are. Help me understand, maybe I'm tripping, and big capital F at the end of that. Well, check it out, man, look, listen, listen, all right, listen. I've been through what you have going through right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of times where you and the dispatcher would get into a huge disagreement on where to put you for the prime loads. Now, if you're a new guy and you don't have that much experience, then maybe they just doing that to you just so that you're the low guy on the totem pole. I felt that way. You know, I was I was the new guy coming in and I was getting the good lows at first. And then all of a sudden it, it just turns to shit. You know, I, I would get like a 200 mile low. Or I would get a live unload with, with, uh, with a, uh, with a 50 mile, you know, with 50 miles. How am I going to get paid? How am I going to make some money? How am I going to, to get a good paycheck with those kinds of loads? Well, the dispatcher will come back to me and be like, oh, well, if you do me this favor, I will get you the better loads. Okay, okay. I did you this favor, but you're still not giving me no loads. So I am still doing you favors. 
you will turn around and be like, okay, well, there's there's no uh, there's no there's no freight, so we can't give you what we don't have. Dude, what do you mean there's no freight? I got people on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, from the same company that I work for, saying, oh, I'm making this amount, I'm making that amount, I'm moving this much freight, I'm moving this many miles. So I'm coming back to you on the phone going like, yo, I don't have, you you don't have no freight, but yet XYZ driver, they doing good. They they doing a thousand dollars a week paychecks, two fifteen hundred. Oh, look at me! Look at my paycheck. Oh, I love this company because I am getting X amount of X amount of miles a week. But yet, you are telling me there's no there's no freight. How is that possible? There's no freight. So I've been where you at. I've been where you at. You know what I'm saying? I call up my dispatcher all the time, every day, 24-7. Yo, when am I going to get the good run? Yo, when am I going to go get the 200,000, I mean 2,000 mile run? Yo, when I'm going to get the 1,000? When I'm going to get the 500? I'm used to running 500 miles a day, maybe six if I push it. But you're, you're not giving me the runs I need. Now, when he said about, when he said that they don't give two fucks about the drivers, maybe that's true. You know what I'm saying? Because the company that you probably might be working for is only caring about the companies that they serve. It should be about the driver. Without us, nothing would get moved out here. Without our sacrifice, nothing will get moved out here we, it will just stay at a standstill it will come to a stop what will happen if everybody that's in trucking right now decide to just get out of the business and to go somewhere else and do something else? it's not possible because there's nothing else that pays this type of this type of money for people with less than a diploma for education. This is a good field to be in if you decide to get into this field, okay? If you decide to get into this field, this is a good field to be in. But you gotta get with a company that cares not only about the money, but cares about the driver as well. If you get with a company that cares about the driver, then it shouldn't be a problem. It's just, it's just a matter of searching doing your research and finding that company finding your comfort zone and get in it i'm hoping that 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 i can help you understand this my man i mean like i said it's 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 crazy it's it's crazy that a lot of companies out here does this to us you know what i'm saying we're not out here making no we're, we're not out here sacrificing our lives over the road for no, for no two, three, four, five hundred dollar checks a week. We're not doing that. At least I'm not doing that. I'm not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? We're out here sacrificing our life for at least 900, 1,000 and plus. You know what I'm saying? Give us something that's worth being out here for. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to I'm not trying to drive your truck cross country and only getting paid two, three hundred dollars. Dude, people could go to McDonald's and get that in a week or go to Burger King and get that in a week. And they don't have to sacrifice their life to do it. They don't have to get in a dangerous job to get three hundred dollars a week, yo. For real? Does that make any kind of sense to you? It don't make no sense to me, and it shouldn't make no sense to you guys out there. When you get out there, when you get out here, make sure you're paid what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? If you're sacrificing your life 
Make sure you're paid at your work. They consider us the number two dangerous jobs out here. And it's been plenty of times that I roll up and down these interstates throughout my years and I see way too many truck driver accidents out here, truck driver fatalities out here. It's stressful, strenuous, and sometimes the job is impossible. And it makes it more strenuous when you got a company that's not working with you. Do I have any advice for you, bro? I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you from my experience, if things hadn't happened to me, I would probably still be with the first company that I'm with. But I'm, I'm glad that with the grace of God, things happened the way they happened. And now I'm with a company that that works for me. Now it may not work for everybody, but it works for me. You know, I got a good rapport with my fleet manager. He gets me out here, he keeps me running. He gets me home when I need it to be home. I, I can't ask for much and I can't ask for more. You know what I'm saying? I just make sure that he's okay as far as him giving me the runs and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And he's making sure that I'm okay so that my paycheck can look good every week. So Jeremy, man, I, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you find this video. And if it does help you out, you know, I, 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 I'm glad that I, I was there to, to throw, some, throw something towards your way, man. But if you guys think you guys got some knowledge that you want to throw Jeremy, yo, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and hit that bell on the way out. On my way to 4,000, yo. 4,000, 10 at the end of the year. Help me get there. Yo, there's a lot of ways you can support this channel. The biggest way is that you can subscribe and comment. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you watch the videos. I don't need no bots. I need real people, real humans to, to comment so I can chat it up with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hit me up with some coffee. That's the way you can support the channel, man. Yo, I, I love tea, so I'm, I'm, trying to get my, I'm trying to get my weight back together. I know I've been slacking. I know I've been slacking, but I'm getting back. I'm, I'm getting back. And um, yo, Cash App. I got the Cash App now. I'm, I'm modernized now. I have the Cash App. So if anybody want to Cash App something, yo, hit a brother up. As well as PayPal. There's lots of ways that you can support me and lots of ways that I can support other drivers as well with your help. You know what I'm saying? So hook a brother up. All right, that's it. I'm done. This is enough with this topic. I'm about to get up on this road, and I'm about to roll out. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. Baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. You gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize